When you think of Turpentine Creek Wildlife Refuge, of course you think of big cats and rescuing yes. big cats, but did you know you can actually stay here on Ooh. property? Cheryl's joining us to talk more about that. Cheryl, thanks for having us out. Oh, thanks so much for coming out and seeing us. Yes. Yeah. You have an amazing different array of camping options here. Tell us what you got going on. We sure do. And and the weather's gonna be so perfect for coming out to visit us. We've got 10 unique options available. We've got our five adult Zulu lodges that share a hot tub and a centralized fire pit. Plus you have your own private little deck looking out over the Ozarks. We've got our yurt style glamping tents back here behind us. These are really super cool, very neat. They're family friendly. You can sleep six in our Bam Bam bungalow here. You can sleep four in the Tigris. We also have two family friendly suites, our Bengal and Siberian. Did you know you can visit with a liger while you're sleeping? What? what? Yes. Fergie, our liger, is right outside the Siberian, and she loves to visit with the people and watch. She thinks you're in a cage when you're in the <laughs> Siberian. She loves stalking and watching you when you're in there. And then we have our tree house, which is a, a very popular one with the kids. It's got a loft, and you're on the other side of Herbie, Fergie's habitat wow. when you're there. Yeah. Very nice. So tents, Zulu lodges, mm -hmm. uh, tree house. Man, you have all kinds of options for staying. And did I mention you can bring your home with you? What? Oh. We have six RV sites. You can come sit up your RV and listen to ligers and lions caroling in the evening. Mm, very nice. What do you think is one of the best things about staying on property? There are so many things I could list, but we are in such a beautiful part of our state here in, in Northwest Arkansas, located on top of the Ozark Mountains. We don't have light pollution. You'll see thousands of stars overhead at night. You'll get to hear lions carol and tigers rumble. And it's just a unique experience. You'd have to go to Africa to enjoy this. And it's right here in Northwest Arkansas. Right here in your backyard. Now, here's a question. Is it loud out here? Is it hard to actually oh, yeah. get a night's sleep? Or is it OK? <laughs> It can be a little unsettling. <laughs> um, a lion has a decibel, can reach 115 decibels. Wow. Damage starts occurring in our ears at 130. Man. So that tells you how loud, and if you're right beside them, it can carry five miles. You can hear a lion's carol. It's how they communicate in the wild and identify other members of their pride and talk to neighboring prides. And so, yeah, it might might wake you up okay but i to me it's kind of like a lullaby it's like right. oh yeah and back to yeah. sleep <laughs> it's such a unique experience right. right that you can't get anywhere else so why not try it out it's so some real party neat. animals out here at turpentine <laughs> creek during the fall huh Ellen? that's right yeah <laughs> cheryl if families want to come out here and book a stay out here how can they do that just give us a call or go to our website tcwr.org you can book a room online there or give us a call at 479-253-5841. Cheryl, what should families know before they pack up and come visit? Well, you know, the cats are susceptible to the virus. We have learned of several cats at other facilities. A tiger died last year wow. from contracting COVID. So in our discovery area, we are asking that you wear a mask. Okay. So I if you don't one bring on one yeah. with you, we do have some available. And that way we can protect the big cats. But when you're on our tour or you're in your lodging, you can feel free to remove them. And we know, of course, fall is coming. Is there certain months in the fall that's like the best time to be out here? Well, they're all great. But you know, in October, we start getting those beautiful fall colors. Mm -hmm. The cats are active, like right? You know, in the heat of summer, they're going to be lazy. Cats uh -huh. sleep a lot. Yes. So they're I don't be, blame them for that. I don't either. That's what I want to do too. <laughs> Siesta. You know, just saying. Um, but yeah, no, in the fall, it gets cooler. They get more active. So they're going to be out running around more during the day. It's a great time to visit. So you can visit with the animals during the day and at night. Have them sing your lullaby at yeah. night. That's right. A lullaby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the last time we were here, Emily taught us how to chuff. Uh-huh. So, 
families, listen to this. Jason and I are going to teach you something oh. that Emily taught us. So that way, when you come out here, it's a good way to communicate with right. animals. How does it go again? Chop. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I I've feel like I sound more like a horse neighing, but we're we're working that up. Working but I, through. I think we'd make Emily proud. What do you think, Cheryl? You would. You would, because I still can't do it. <laughs> It's a good job. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, and you can book your stay. Uh, head to our website right now where you'll find a link to Turpentine Creek yep. Wildlife Refuge. Cheryl, thank you so much for having us out. Thanks. It's great to see you. Yeah, yeah. good to see you. We'll be right back with more Good Day in WA.